Hey Ravinda, lovely to hear from you again. Well done on all your hard work. I'm so impressed. You're doing great. Uh, so uh, let's listen to this. I like this one. Let's also get some really interesting answers here. Uh, so we're looking at adjectives. You can describe what's happening. So lexical range, the range of your vocab. You're telling a story. You want to make it, like as I say here, vivid and real. We're going to use complex sentences. So those are the lovely long sentences using who or which or that, that sort of thing to add the information and to add depth. So let's go. And this topic made me think of Maxine. She is a recruiter and I met her about one year ago when I was doing my job hunt. Uh, it was that time when... Okay, so slow down, remember, breathe. Maxine, who's a recruiter, you could just expand that specializing in something. Yeah? Uh, hang on, go, sorry. I, I was in the desperate need of a job. Good. And I was looking, I was looking for anything that could uh, fulfill my financial needs. Uh, I applied with many agencies, but... Uh, uh, it was the Maxine who called me and she called me in her office. Uh, I went there and... Right, she called me to her office or even better, she invited me for a meeting. We had a, uh, I had an interview with her for about like 30 minutes. In this inter uh, meeting, she discussed with, my, uh, with me about different opportunities. Okay, um, I think we might have talked about this before, but watch where you breathe. Okay, so she invited me into her meeting. We discussed many things. Pause, breathe, <gasps> then carry on. You, where you take a breath, you take a breath at some unexpected places. <laughs> so you're taking a breath, you're going, I'm just <gasps> going to talk about, <gasps> I'm, I'm exaggerating. But if you listen back to that, um, take a breath before the beginning of the sentence, then try and get to the end of the sentence in the same breath. I could grab and I told her about my skills, my passions and my uh, qualifications. Good. Uh, she explained me at... Uh, Watch out, she explained that. We don't explain me. You explain to me that, but we don't explain me. You can have told me, but not explain me. Careful. Uh, she explained me job descriptions of different professions. As I, uh, I was a nurse uh, in my uh, back home, so... Uh, she she proposed an offer that was a continue, continuing care assistant. And Excellent. I love the background. So pause here. I was a nurse specializing in, or I was a nurse in hospital, or I was a nurse with children. Give me more. It's a great story. I'm really interested. Um, um, you know, obviously the examiner wants to know who you are and, and more about you. It's a fantastic story. Um, so just slow and give me the details. At that time, I didn't know anything about this thing. Good. But she told me, like, this is a profession that can link me with my career mm -hmm. and I can uh, start over for my uh, single license from there. Okay. So rather than using can the whole time, I would be able to. Get into some different mo modal verbs. I might be able to, I could be able to, uh, I would be able to, even. <laughs> Slightly different, but don't just use can. And I feel like this meeting changed my life totally because before that I had no idea what is the CCA job is and what are the responsibilities of this uh, job. Mm -hmm. But after this meeting, I uh, learned a lot about this thing and I started my job as a CCA. That, uh, okay, so we've got a lot of the word job the whole time. Let's mix that up a bit. I started my career. I started my um, uh, employment. I started my work. Let's think of different ways how we could say that. So picking up quite a lot of repetition. So try and avoid the repetition. When you listen back, uh, think how many times you say some of these words and think, okay, I need to think of different ways of getting around this. Till now, I'm continuing this, uh, that job and it changed my life totally, uh, not, in, not only professionally, but personally, because I find a stable job that helps me financially to okay i've found so present perfect here either i've found a stable job or i found be very careful the examiner can hear exactly which one you're saying okay uh, either would be okay 
present perfect or past simple there. Make sure it's very clearly said. To fulfill, uh, fulfill my needs. Okay, nice answer. I really like that one. There are a few things to be looking at there. Um, so repetition of language, accuracy in the language, and just slow, honestly, because it's lovely what you've got to say. Um, but if you go really fast, you sound like you're really nervous. Yeah. So just slow, just enjoy this. You know, your language is great. So show it off at its best. Uh, next questions we're going to get into. Uh, we're looking at concession. Concession is difficult. Uh, concession is, uh, we use it in the part two, uh, sorry, task two writing, and you're strong on that. These are these phrases like although, nevertheless, despite the fact that. So we're getting into complicated grammar structures here. So here are some questions all about young people and families. Uh, for my first answer, uh, I believe that these days there are uh, increased responsibilities and uh, the youngs uh, youngsters have needs to be learned those in the early age and okay uh, you've got need to you could use should you could use the modal verbs uh, responsibilities that youngsters should acquire at an early age or should learn at an early age yeah they have to put their efforts to compete in this era and they have to make uh, some decisions that could affect their whole life but good it, uh, but in the past it was not the same case in uh, that time people don't have the pressure of the career because they don't have to okay watch out in the past they didn't have you need to change your tense there in the past people didn't have that pressure careful pursue the uh, uh, opportunities that could affect their whole life so uh, these days youngsters have to be mature earlier than the, uh, as compared to previous good well done nice answer that one very good for my second answer uh, the younger uh, older people they always give advice from their experience they uh, they live their life and they so okay again watch out for the tenses so older people enjoy giving advice you said they always give advice let's get some different verbs in there they enjoy giving advice um from their perspective um and then i sorry I, I, it's difficult to go back um but i think you want to say they have lived a full life watch out on the tenses there you need to, it's all this should be Present perfect, past simple, even past perfect. Well, so many things, like so many t uh, turns in their life, and they give advice according to their experience. <laughs> and it, sometimes it's really helpful for the young people. However, it's not always the case. <laughs> Brilliant. Great use of that concession. You're absolutely right. Totally agree. Because uh, this, uh, this word is... Uh, going through technical changes and there is a lot of technology that older people might not aware about and they couldn't give the best advice in that case okay careful you're speeding up a bit um technology people are not aware of don't care about careful i just can't hear the pronunciation well enough on that um be very careful that you're very open your mouth very clear on the words you're trying to say this so it's not always, it depends on the situation. What is the situation and what the advice older people can Good. get. Good, absolutely right, nice. For my third answer, uh, I personally believe that young people uh, should provide, uh, young people could provide the opportunities uh, to uh, prove themselves in the job market, but the older people... Yes, should be offered um, the opportunity to prove themselves. Yeah, we would say offer an opportunity. So should be in the passive, offered the opportunity to prove themselves in the workplace or jobs market. Good. They hold some experience that could be uh, asset for the companies. Yes. And the companies could benefit from those experiences. Mm -hmm. and... Yes, absolutely perfect. You're absolutely on it here. Well done. Uh, it all depends upon the work situation. If the company is working in a, a technical pace, the older people could be... Now, careful on overusing present continuous. This is a common problem, I think, in writing as well. Um, so rather than if they are, you said there is using, if the company is using, da da da, much more correct and much more what would be um, better would be just uses. 
just the present simple, not the is using all the time. Um, correct yourself on that one. Not uh, compatible with that technology and the young people could do better than them. Mm -hmm. So uh, the young people, uh, older people, uh, is not comp uh, should, it should not be compulsory for them to retire at the age of 65. But if they are not able to perform well and their productivity is... Okay, now we could use although instead of but. Although if they are unable to perform well, uh, is an obvious time to employ somebody younger. Affecting, they could uh, leave the job and they, uh, the, uh, they could provide the opportunity to the youngsters. Okay, good. Nice one. Good answer. Uh, for my fourth answer, uh, the government could provide some parenting classes to the parents that could teach them how to care their youngsters because the youngsters are the... Now, care for their youngsters. Yeah, so we care for youngsters. ...future of any nation. Mm -hmm. So it, it is the responsibility of the authorities that they could provide some resources. Yeah, again, they should provide. If you're going, it's their responsibility. You need should, not could. They should be providing or they should provide. They could help the parents and uh, they could maintain, uh, uh, they could perform well while growing up uh, and raising their children. Mm -hmm. What well, I think what I'd probably say there is something like um, the many parents find it very difficult to raise children um, and would be grateful for some advice or guidance from the government. Um, don't you can kind of change these sentences quite a lot. I know you've got to think so fast um, when you're kind of thinking and speaking at the same time. It's not easy. Um, but you could just make a statement that, you know, a lot of parents don't find it easy. And therefore, this kind of advice could be very welcome. Um, you could go into some detail um, how to look after young children, as well as uh, the difficulties with teenagers uh, is an issue that um, is often not looked after by governments or addressed by governments, okay? Um, Ravinda, you're doing amazingly well. Strongly, strong recommendation, slow it down. You sound exhausted by the time you get to the end of it, okay? Um, just go slow, breathe, okay? Take your time, enjoy showing the examiner how good you are. Yeah, I think this is excellent work. Well done.